Hi. Smart Home Sunday, Paul here again, and I'm playing around with Home Assistant, or as I like to say, tinkering every Sunday. And last week, if you saw, I had the multi-trigger automation going on in Home Assistant, and I thought, oh, oh I'm going to try and take that a step further. Can you create one automation to rule them all? I don't know if you really want to just make one, but you could definitely combine many, and that's what I want to show you in today's short update. So if you're interested in Home Assistant, hit subscribe, and I'll tinker some more with it in the coming weeks, and I don't know, maybe you'll learn something. Although, I do feel that you've been teaching me more, so thank you for that. It's a journey, together. You tell me to do something, I do it, and you laugh when I'm excited about how it works. So. I created last week this one automation. Let's have a look. This is, a, I've, I've renamed it to time check when lights are on. And so we'll jump into the YAML. And this has multiple triggers. So it's timed multiple times that I want to check the state of the lights. And then depending on the time of day, I'm then looking at what time the, the hour is right now. And then I'm saying, okay, if it's between five and 9 a.m., then run this script energize, so on and so forth. So you can see the if, else if logic there. And I've got a turn time of 12,000, which means it's around about 20 minutes. So if the light is on and it gets to that certain time, Home Assistant is going to send a command to the Philips Hue hub to say, hey, time to switch scenes. It's an API call and it's gonna take 20 minutes to switch across. So I've done a few videos on that earlier. Maybe you've seen them. You have? Great, thanks for coming back. So. I was pretty happy and impressed with this multiple trigger. And then I thought, hang on a minute, look at all these other ones I've got here. Dining, kitchen, lounge, office. Can't I just put all of them into a single automation? Well, yes, yes I can. And I did, here it is, the all-in-one lights on automation. And it seems to be working pretty quick. I started to wonder if there's a bit of a performance benefit, you know, are things gonna get a bit slow if I've got lots of automations? I don't know, but so far, this is pretty exciting and it's working. So let me just uh, show you. The light behind me here, I've got the Philips Hue app running. So if I just turn this on to Office, Office Energize, right, it's a really bright, intense light. Now I will turn on the automation for Office and in here it says that, again into the YAML, it says that if it is between, uh, say, well, it should actually go to script dimmed. So it should run dimmed. So the light should very quickly go dim because it's very late at night and you shouldn't have a harsh bright light like that. It'll keep you awake all night. Oh, that's the reason I'm always up every night. Okay. So let's just try this. This uh, automation is now turned on. Here it is. And turn the light off. I'll turn it on to energize. Okay, and you can see it very quickly. Flashed for a moment on energize. Home Assistant saw the light turn on and then ran the automation, which called the script, which sent the API call, and it very quickly whoosh, dims it down. It's amazing how quick these things happen. So just to show you, if I turn that off and off and on. You can see now I've got the automations turned off in Home Assistant and so therefore I turn Energize on and it stays on. Okay. Let's try the all-in-one. Turn the all-in-one on. Turn that light off. There it is. It worked. It worked. It worked. Hmm. Okay. Lights back on and let me jump into this one and show you what I've done. So into the YAML. Here we go. Now this is quite fancy. This is nice. I like this. This is my all-in-one lights on automation. One automation to rule all the light on commands. Let's just uh, correct my typing. And here I am looking for the various lights. So I've got lots of light groups around the house, but I'm just looking for one light globe within that group. So I have kind of a master light that I'm telling Home Assistant to just listen for. So dining table for the dining room lights. There's one kitchen light for five kitchen lights. 
Uh, there's a light in the cupboard, kitchen cupboard. Then there's light in the lounge room for all of the lounge lights. And then here I've got a couple of lights in the cellar, but I'm just looking at one of them, okay? And uh, this is great. You can just put a little list and look for those lights to go to and on. And then what I'm doing is I'm basically saying, well, choose, choose which one to run, which thing to run. So I don't mind if multiple run. If the lights are on and they're set to a certain scene and they trigger again, you won't notice anything. So there might be multiple commands happening for lights that are on, but I don't really care. It's just when a new one comes on, I wanna make sure it is also correctly set to the right scene. So if we look at the example here, it went through and went all the way down to the bottom and it said, okay, if the light seller one went to the state on, well, check the service template and send some values across and basically it just called the same script, which was this script dimmed. So I've been able to reuse the same code quite often and this is nice, I'm very happy with this. I did set this to parallel with a maximum of 10 runs because what I do wanna make sure happens is if there are multiple uh, API calls being uh, thrown here, I do wanna make sure that they all run. I could run into a problem if Home Assistant does send multiple API calls, there is a limit on how much the Philips Hue Hub can handle with API calls. And let's see, I'm noticing everything's working just fine now. I'll run this for a week and I'll let you know if there's any problems. So come along and see what I'm up to next Sunday and I'll tell you how this went and maybe I'll need to make an even bigger single automation that just does everything. No, that's not a very smart idea. But anyway, I've got two, I've got two automations now. That's all I need. The all-in-one lights on and the time check when the lights are on. There it is. So at the moment, it looks like my adaptive lighting automation setup is two automations and it's controlling one, two, three, four rooms in the house. I need to add some more rooms. I better finish the renovation, then I'll have more rooms. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to tinker along with me on every Sunday. Uh, and I do tinker with some tech stuff on Tuesdays as well. So more on the way very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.